Hello and welcome to the Halo Forge Epidemic. This is Oakley Hidef and I'm here to bring you a new Forge tutorial and this one is going to be on Forerunner walls. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've assembled a bunch of walls for you um, over here in Hemorrhage and I've done a bunch of varieties. Most of them are bigger, larger walls and then the rest are sort of located over here where I try and show you guys a couple techniques on how to make your own walls uh, and how to come up with a Forerunner theme. Obviously there's a lot you can do with Forerunner stuff and here in this case I'm just dealing with walls. So we'll start off here, which is basically the first one that I worked on. And so what I did was two wall coliseums on either side. And then in the middle, I wanted to make a gate. So the way I did that was I actually put two coliseum windows like here, just sticking straight up. And then some come down just like that. So you get the glass peeking out the side, just like this, which looks cool. You can see through. And then I put the, um, this is in the platform section. I put walkway larges on either side to kind of buffet it and I feel these are very nice for Forerunner architecture um, especially when put into the ground like this with this little strut here it looks very nice then what I did was I put a grid through it and the reason I did that is because it gives a nice glow over the top so it kind of makes it look like this whole fence is electrified or it's powered or it's glowing or something like here and you got a sort of defense uh, grid set up so maybe this could be used in any sort of map maybe an invasion this whole area would gate out when you take out the generators or something like that so that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, over here is a couple more walls. So basically when you're doing forerunner walls is if you're going to try and keep it simple, just put wall coliseums and then try and decorate it up a bit. So in this case I put brace tunnels sticking up and down on either side. And then over on this side what I did was the line of wall coliseums again. And then I used the walkway large properties that I told you how I like the strut piece here. And then I put a walkway cover here basically to give it this nice cool look and this is the my favorite part actually of the walkway cover right here is when you get these little striations here so I mix the two together and put them at, put them at intervals along the map uh, along the the uh, the wall which kind of gives it that foreigner thing where these would be pylons and uh, kind of holding up the different sections so I think it's a really cool look and that's kind of what you want to do in forerunner is break up the the gray palette and throw in a lot of architecture over here uh, I was just doing a section of what could be a really long wall. In this case, wall coliseum. To break that up, I put a window coliseum to make a nice white strip. And then up on top, you can see the grid. So I think if you look at it from here, it looks like it's a pretty imposing wall. It looks new. It looks cool. Um, so maybe this would just be to wall off a certain area of your map. Um, but maybe you're still looking to carry out some sort of theme. So instead of just blocking off with wall coliseums, you would add a couple more things to make it stand out. So use of the grid is pretty cool. It's very uh, very rare to see a grid used besides like underwater. So this is one way you can use it which is kind of to make it look like you have an electrified wall or some sort of force holding it up. Um, another way to do a forerunner wall which is kind of at an incline. So here wall coliseums at this angle then another set. And what you can actually do is between the two you can put brace larges and then brace tunnels. So what that does is it actually allows you to get a sort of a an upper area to play off of so there could be battles up here gain a height advantage and all that and then the brace tunnels here which come at the same angle as the um, the wall coliseum piece down here would offer you cover and from a distance it does look pretty cool so that's another way to pull off a wall so maybe think at angles and not straight up and down over here again thinking at angles like I said um, this has been broken up into a bunch of sort of intermittent cubes then slanted wall cube then slanted wall so maybe repeat that pattern and along the way you could put different parts like these um the walkway larges again just to break it up so there's a lot of stuff you can do for the walls don't be constrained to just a straight up and down wall go ahead and work on inclines because that's a lot of what you see for forerunner architecture is going to be on slants using these walkway pieces and stuff like that and also the grids i feel do a good job of sort of tying in the power um or some sort of energy field. So I think that's a really cool approach. Um, obviously this carries over to when you're working with smaller walls. Um, here I just lined up some wall col or, sorry, some brace larges sticking up and down. Those make good walls if expensive walls. So make sure uh, you have enough budget to support that. Then to change it up because people by now have gotten used to forge so what you want to do is try and keep every piece varied. So here what I did is put platform Y largest sticking up just to give a different texture at the bottom and to kind of change it up, break up the geometry, keep it from being immediately recognized. Another thing you can do is if you have wall coliseums you can put these, I'll grab this, this is the uh, antenna satellite piece. So you can go ahead and use these actually to build your own wall. As you can see here if you lower it, it can slip into place. And what you can do is stack a bunch of them together 
um, which kind of gives a cool pointed look that you don't see very often and that I feel does give off a very forerunner feel. So that's what I did here and I connected to a wall coliseum. Over in here, I filled the gaps with door doubles. What you could maybe do is um, keep a wall like this where essentially every time a, uh, an additional satellite piece comes out, it gets lower and lower. So that's something you could do, which would look pretty cool. And uh, it would just keep sinking until you get down here. So it's kind of a falling archway, which I think looks pretty cool. Sort of flying buttress looking type of thing. And this looks very non-human, so very foreign air. So that's something you want to do, obviously. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. And um, yeah, thanks guys. Uh, we really appreciate you support, your support. I can't emphasize that enough. You guys do such a great job supporting us, sending us maps, ideas, all this stuff. And this is all feedback to what you guys have recommended. So in the comments below, go ahead and say what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Uh, please guys, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And also, make sure you check out our Facebook page. We're trying to push that more and more. And we feel we'll be able to use it more effectively in the future. The more of you guys go there and check us out, um, we'll be able to do a lot of stuff there, maybe even host contests. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is a lot of stuff like maybe uh, map submissions. And we'll be able to put uh, photo galleries of sort of maybe submissions of the week and stuff like that. That way we can get a lot more feedback. And so if you guys want to sort of come along with us as we grow, go ahead and give us feedback. Give us feedback in the comments. Go ahead and give us feedback in Facebook. Uh, tell your friends about us because the more we grow, the more we'll be able to, you know, have incentive to grow and give you guys more because that's what we're going to do as we grow is just give back more and more to the community. So, yeah, guys, thanks so much again for your support. I hope you enjoyed. This has been Oakley High Def with the Halo Forge Epidemic. And I'm signing out. Thank you.